If you're watching this video right now, God's trying to get your attention. There are certain moments in our life where we think we know where we're going. We think we know what God wants to do in our lives. We have a perfect picture in our mind of what God has planned for us. I've been there before where I thought, surely this is what God has for me. Surely this is what God has for me. And I promise you it's happened to me in two big situations before that God took me out of two moments that I thought were forever my destiny. What happens when God has to disappoint you, to reappoint you. A lot of times in your life, some of the sad moments, some of the heartbreaking moments, isn't that God is mad at you. It's not that God is upset with you. It's not that God wants to hurt you. It's not that he's some grueling, ugly, mad God who wants to make you upset. Sometimes God loves you so much that he will change the trajectory of your life when you're headed into the wrong will. When you're headed into your will or the devil's will, God has to disappoint your path, your process, your thinking, your life, your mentality to put you into his will. He has to reappoint a wrong appointment. If you can agree with me, an appointment is somewhere that you're supposed to be at a certain time, at a certain season, at a certain place. And if you're not in the right timing, if you're not in the right place, if you're headed the wrong way, wouldn't it be hateful of God and unloving of God to let you go in the wrong direction? Wouldn't you prefer that God would disappoint you and have a season of heartache, a season of tiredness, a season of feeling lonely, a season of sadness, if it meant that God is changing the trajectory of your season? And what if you realized right now that you don't need to be heartbroken nor sad, but thankful and glad and praise God that he got you out of the wrong path and put you back on the right one? You have to understand in the story of Joseph, Joseph has a dream. He's got a vision from God. He's got uh, this purpose that God has instilled inside of him from a young age that he's going to be served and bowed down to by his own family. He's got a huge family of brothers, if you don't know the story. And Joseph has this dream that God shows him in the future, you're going to be in such a high status, in such a high place, in such a high position that your own family will bow down to you. Now, Joseph could have easily thought in his mind what that looked like, the process, the path to get there. But what if God would have told Joseph, maybe one day after his dream, what if God told Joseph, okay, Joseph, I showed you your future. Now, here's what the process looks like to get there. There's going to be a pit that you get thrown into by your brothers. They're going to try to kill you. You're going to be picked up by slave traders and they're going to try. They're going to sell you to the Egyptians. What if you saw the entire path and process of your life before it happened? What if God showed you that there is some pitfalls, there's some hiccups, there's some setbacks, so you think, but it's actually God aligning your life? Do you really think that Joseph never encountered disappointment when he was at the bottom of a pit? when he was stuck in a prison for years? Do you not think that Joseph probably wondered, God, where are you? Maybe he was resilient the whole time, but I'm here to tell you the moments of disappointment, the moment where Joseph was tried, was attempted to be killed by his brothers, it was actually God allowing it because Joseph needed to be in a pit to be noticed by the slave traders, to be sold to a different nation that he might move up and be promoted by God in that place. Had Joseph never been lied on, betrayed by his own family, he would have never made it to his destiny. What if all the times that you were cheated on in a business deal, done wrong in certain situations, laughed at by people, fired, let go, you had to move from where you were. What if all those little moments and big moments with all due respect that you've gone through, what if God allowed it and purposed it that you might become who he wants you to become, that you might be where he wants you to be? When your life is submitted and belongs to God, you have to be accustomed to disappointment. It's God changing the trajectory of your life. Disappoint means to change the direction of where you were currently heading, the appointment you were making in life. God has to flip it. God has to change it. You have to trust that God is about to put you where he's always wanted to put you. You have to trust that God is aligning every step on the path of your life because he has something great for you. Watch what God does in this next week of your life. I pray that right now that your eyes, your mind, your ears, your spirit, your soul, your body would be awakened to the fact that God is changing everything in your life and for your favor right now. Let me pray for you before we close this video. Father, I pray for every person that's listening and watching right now. I ask that you would touch every person that this comes to right now in this moment. Holy Spirit, let them feel your presence. Let them feel your love, your embrace. 
I pray God for your comfort when they've been going through a lonely season, a desperate season, a season where they're not passionate, they feel brokenhearted. I pray God that you would reveal and open the eyes, even as in your word, Father. Elisha said for his servant, he, he prayed, God, open the eyes of my servant that he may see that there's more with us than are with them. May God open your eyes to see that you're right where he wants you. Sometimes he disappoints because you were headed the wrong way. May God show you that you are in his divine appointment. You're in God's divine timing. The Bible says, David says in the book of Psalms, he says, God, my times are in your hands. Trust that God has you right where he wants you. Trust that God has you like a Joseph story. There might be some pits, there might be some prisons, so to speak, in your life, moments that you didn't want, moments you didn't expect. But I promise you, Joseph became thankful for everything he went through because God used it to make him the second ruler of a nation. May God take you to that depth, to that level, and even greater. May you see that he never left you. May you see that God's disappointment is a reappointment into your destiny. God bless you. Please like, subscribe. Put down in the comments what God's going to do in your life. Put in the comments, I trust God. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe. Share this with somebody. Thank you for um, your love and support. God bless you.